This puzzle was submitted yesterday by a Sudoku Primer YouTube channel subscriber. Lake Isis, and I hope I'm saying that right, uh, submitted this puzzle and I thought it would be a it would be a good puzzle to do a video on. If you would like to submit a puzzle that you have a question on or you'd like me to look at, just submit it in the comments of this video or any other video and uh, <clears throat> use this format here. This format shows which numbers go in which cells and the zeros indicate blank cells, empty cells. This, is, this example here is the first three rows of this puzzle right here. Now I cr um, created this puzzle using an Excel spreadsheet that you can download from sudokuprimer.com. Um, there's a blank grid section on that, on that website and you can download uh, Excel spreadsheet version of a blank Sudoku grid or other images. There are several different um, formats out there <clears throat> and you can just download those and print them yourself. Now this one, this spreadsheet allows you to um, enter the numbers in Excel before you print it and that's what I did with this puzzle and then once you've print it, the, the givens are nice and clean and, and look good on the on the puzzle before you start solving it. And you'll always know which ones are givens and which ones you filled in by hand. Well, let's solve this puzzle. Uh, first of all, I'm going to fill in a couple of pretty easy to see numbers. And if you have a question about a number that I don't comment on, if you're not sure how I got it, just leave me a comment and I'll try and answer your questions. Now that four is a little bit tricky, not too bad, but there's a two and a nine here in this column. So that shows, shows us that these are two nine twins right here. This box has a, right now is a, is a T pattern so the 2 and 9 go there, so that means this is 1, 4, and 5. There's a 4 there and 4 there, so that's how I got the 4 there. Now I got that 5 because there's a 5 here, so one of these three is a 5 in this box. We've got a 5 here and a 5 here, so one of these two is a 5 in that box, in box 9. So these, with these three and those two, that covers these two rows using the technique uh, double row elimination. And so you see that the five has to be in this row, and there's a five there already. And then I, let's see, put an eight there. And we got that because we know these are one five twins because of these two nine twins right here. So the re remaining numbers in this column are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, and eight. So uh, six, seven, eight. And there's a six and seven there, so we know that's an eight. And put a six here. And the way we got the six there was there's a four and seven in this row and a four and seven in this column. So we know these are four, seven twins. And we'd see the, there are one, two twins here. And after we see the four, seven twins, we can see that these are one, two twins. And the only number left is a six. And we can fill in the four, seven twins right now because there's a seven here and a seven here, so we know these are ghost sevens here. So that makes that a four. We can fill a six in there. We 
have a <coughs> let's see because we have two nine twins here and let's see what we're missing in this row right here we know these are one two twins so one two three four five six seven eight nine five six and nine are the only numbers missing in this column here there's a five here and ghost nines here because these are two nine twins so we know that's a six okay, and with that we can fill in this six here we know that's a six because we've got a six in this column here and a six in this row so we know these are ghost sixes here so we know that's a six and not that fill in that 7 there and that's because we have a 7 here and a 7 here so we have ghost 7's here so 7 ghost 7's and a 7 there so we know that's a 7 and we know that's a s an 8 right there in box 6 and that's because what are we missing in this row right here 1 Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because we have two nine twins here. So this is a one seven and eight, one seven or eight, one seven or eight, one seven or eight, and there are one sevens here already. And we have an eight right here, because we have an eight here, and an eight here, so that makes these ghost eights here. So we know that's an 8. And now we can fill in the 1, 2's in box 1, because we only have 1 or 2, 1 and 2 left in this row. 1, 2 here, 1, 2 here. We had a 1 there, so we know that's a 2. So we fill in those 1, 2's there. And now we have a 2 here and a 7 here, two seven twins. So we can solve those. Okay. Now we only have one and two numbers left in this row. So we can solve them. We only have two numbers left in this box and we can solve them. place for a 6 in that box, in box 8. And we can fill in a 6 there. So we know now that's a 6. Now we've only got two numbers left here. 8 and 9. So we know that's a 9. And that's an 8. So we finish row row nine there. Now we can fill in the two nine twins that we found right away at the beginning of the puzzle. Now we know where the one goes there. And then that makes that a three. We only have two numbers left here. Four. Seven. So we can fill those in. We've only got two numbers left here. And now let's see. We've only got two numbers left in this column. Two, three, two and three. So we can solve those. And with that 2 there, we can fill in this 2 right there. Now let's see what we have left in this row right here. 3, 5, and 9. 3, 5, 9. So that's a 5. That's a 3, and that's a 9. 
We only have two numbers left in this column now. And let's see. Only two numbers here. We can finish those. We've only got one number missing in this column here. Now we've only we're only missing one number in this column here. Let's see what that is. 628 345. So it's a 5. And then what are we missing in this column? 1 7 Nine, one, seven, and nine. So that's a one, nine, and that's a seven. Okay, now we can solve these one fives that we found early on. All right, let's see what's left here. We've only got one number here. That's a five. Five right there, and then what are we missing here? One, two, seven. One, two, and seven. So that's a seven, one, two. That's it. All right. So using a few techniques, um, we've got this got this puzzle pretty quickly. Um, and again, if you have a puzzle you'd like to submit, um, just leave them in a comment in this format here. And uh, if you have any questions on this or other puzzles, just leave a comment and I'll try and answer your questions too. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.